Good morning. Today I'm going to show you how to finalize grades for your first quarter. Uh, grades will be due on Tuesday by noon after, after we come back from fall break. So let's get started. First of all, you need to go to your gradebook. So we're going to click on Power Teacher Pro. Um, once you get to your gradebook and um, you want to click on grading and go to traditional. Once you get to traditional, this is where you finalize your grades. You'll see a finalize grade status um, button here on, on the bottom right. But before we finalize grades, we need to recalculate them because um, as many of you know, PowerSchool doesn't always uh, uh, calculate final grades um, consistently. So it's really important that you click. So we're gonna click on the gear at the top right and we're gonna select recalculate grades. And you can do this all at once for all your classes. We're going to leave it a traditional final grades because this, this is what our corporation uses. You're going to select classes and you can just select all your classes. And then once you do that, you're going to click on recalculate grades. Um, and this may take a few minutes depending on how many grades you have and the, and the number of classes. So once you recalculate your grades, I'm going to close this off, um, you're ready to finalize. So it's super easy to finalize. Um, you know, your, your period is listed here, so you're going to click on finalize. Um, once all your grades are inputted into PowerSchool, of course, and um, everything has synced over from Canvas, if you're using grade pass, uh, pass back from Canvas and, and you're all ready to go, you're going to click on um, Finalize Grades and hit, and hit Save. So now when you look at your first period, you notice there's a check mark next to Final Grade Status. And this indicates that your grades are done for the quarter. And, then the, and, that's, and um, so you need to do that so the corporation knows that your grades are final. Um, and that's all you have to do. And you do, and you have to, you do have to do this for each period. So um, then you have to go, to go to your next period down the line and do the same thing. Click Final Grade Status, select, and hit Save. And you do this for each period, and that's all you have to do. If you have any questions, please let me know. 